Friday, September 29th, the big day. It's 8 a.m. and I'm on my way to go find a Super Nintendo Classic. Let's go. Evil. Here we are at Target. Let's see if we can get us a Super Nintendo Classic at our first stop. Alright, there's a Best Buy down the road that probably will have a line out of it. Well, we're going to go and try. Evil. Do not do this to me, Nintendo. You told me you were making more. I want my Super Nintendo Classic. Please. Uh-oh, I'm pulling up to Best Buy and there's a line out the door. Alright, I got to get in on this. Line's not as bad as I thought it would be one hour and then we'll be able to get it best buy guy came out one per family limited they're gonna start handing tickets out at 9 30. all right crunch time all right they're handing out tickets now let's get our ticket 30 more minutes <laughs> so they probably handed out around 50 tickets and he still had a stack of tickets, so they look they look pretty well stocked. But these tickets are only good until about 1 p.m. They're letting in people by tens. I guess I'm number 12. We're in. It's happening. Okay, or just walk. It's okay. This is real. This is happening. I never would have thought. It's done. We're out. We got it. Thank you, Nintendo, for producing a lot more, it looks like. It's a good day. Right, let's get home, play it, review it, have some fun. Man, I feel good today. So I'm going to give you a brief history on my history with uh, Super Nintendo. The Super Nintendo was basically the first system I ever owned. Uh, uh, somewhere around probably 95, 96 I would say. Rough, rough estimate here. Um, either my uncle or my dad bought it for me because maybe it was just on the cheaper end of things and it was a cool system to ease me into the new wave that was the N64 and things like that. And um, I don't remember exactly a day where, you know, I woke up and I had a Super Nintendo and I was like, yay, I got it, crazy. But the only way that I remember the Super Nintendo is that it was always there and it still is actually, it still works and everything. I actually use the controller on my Retron because my uncle brought it up to me uh, the last time he was up here. Like I was saying, it it's one of those things where it was always there. Like, I don't remember a day I got it. It wasn't Christmas. I don't know if it was a birthday. I don't remember. But I remember always playing it and going to Blockbuster and renting games for it. It's kind of a lame story, but, I mean, the Super Nintendo has a place in my heart, so I felt obligated to get a Super Nintendo Classic Edition. All right, everybody. Let's do an unboxing. Ever so gentle, because I want to keep the box in a very nice condition. Alright. Alright. So. Got our... Oh, this must be the poster. Super Mario World 96 levels, Super Metroid. Yeah, I'd assume this is some sort of booklet or poster. Alright, we've got our power block. Right, let's see here. Let's see what cords we got here. All right. These are the controllers. Let's pull these bad boys out. Ooh, that's pretty. They feel awesome. Love it. Love it. Good job, Nintendo. Alright, and then we got our power cable and our HDMI cable. 
time for the There she blows. It's beautiful. I love it. And now, let's play. Let's start off with Super Mario Kart. Now, I grew up more so on Mario Kart 64, so I never really had the chance to play Super Mario Kart. But, I've played it a few times, and I'll tell you, I love it. It's so fun. I think the dual screen is just really cool to, you know, it shows where you are in, you know, conjunction to everyone else. Alright, so I always pick Toad. Toad's my boy. Let's go. In this game, B is how to accelerate, and Y is basically your handbrake to make those sharp turns. Yeah, like I was saying, when I was growing up, I was never good at Mario Kart 64. Um, I was never good at racing games in general, but I think it's just because I never truly played them. Um, yeah, I got Peach. Peach is always, for me, I think... I don't know if this is the same for everyone. Like I said, I've never played Mario Kart, Super Mario Kart before, but... I think Peach is always the fastest, and she's usually in second place every time you play the game. Um, but whenever you come in first place in this game, at the end of every uh, map, you're giving you're given points based on your, you know, on where you ranked. If you come in first, you get nine points, and if you come in second, I think you get six points. So after five maps or five levels of five laps each, you uh you would uh, you go to the end and whoever has the most points first second and third place first place you're holding a bottle of champagne uh, you pop the bottle of champagne and like a beanstalk comes out of it and grows towards the sky it's crazy but uh, yeah so that was it right there it's very quick um, some levels are a lot uh, harder than others the lava level I hated the lava level I forgot what that was called but uh anyway that's it for Super Mario Kart Let's move on to another game. All right, so I'm gonna go with Super Punch-Out. It's not as good as Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, but it's still really fun. So, let's see here. I forget the first guy's name, it's like Gabby something, but let's see. All right, Championship Mode Minor Circuit. I like this game. Gabby J. I love when he comes in and he goes, hey! <laughs> Yay! Gabby J reminds me of when Homer Simpson was a boxer and he was fighting a bunch of hobos and they would like give him sandwiches and pay him off with sandwiches and food. Okay, as you see in this game, when you get punches in, it builds up your super. So I just haymaker the crap out of Gabby J here. <sighs> he does a stupid cheer. Haymaker him. So, in this game, when you knock someone out three times, it's a TKO. Ooh, I think I'm going to get this one in two. Ooh, okay, you got some good punches on me. I don't like this move, because for some reason I can't dodge it. Oh, crap. I got him. It's probably going to be three knockouts to beat this because, yeah, I've never gotten a 10 count before. I've always just knocked him out three times. Mm. 
yeah, I went offensive on that one. So he's out. TKO, boom, move on to the next game. All right, so I'm, gonna, I'm only going to do three games. I just kind of want you guys to see some of the games on here. So I'm picking Contra 3 Alien Wars. This is a fun, fast-paced game. And I can get to a certain point and then not very far after that. So it did just need a second to kind of trial and error and learn my way around this game. Spread shot. Ah, those stupid dogs are what get me every time. Because sometimes the spread shot kills them real quick, and then other times they don't. Damn, that one guy too. Take out these guns, then it's a breeze. Next part, you get the tank. You just mow through people. Take a few bullets here and there. And then you just blow past this wall one hit. Move on. Ooh, crap. Oh, that gun gets me every time. It's because I forget it's there. I don't even think about it. I'm trying to impress you guys so much on screen that I don't even think about this. Barrier. There we go. Barrier makes this part a breeze. Even though this part's not terrible. It's just laser. Laser would take this guy out real quick. It's not really a boss, just more like a sub boss or just a tougher enemy. There we go. Yeah. Heat seeking. Alright. So we'll chill right here. In comes the plane, starts the fire. All right. Oh. All right, so that's that for Alien Wars. I didn't realize it was my last life. So, anyway, as you can see, the Super Nintendo sounds awesome, looks awesome, plays awesome, has some of the best games on the Super Nintendo. Of course, it's missing some, as we all know, Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy II, things like that. That should have been on there, but you can hack it if you want to. I don't condone it. I don't, no. But anyway, I think every household needs the Super Nintendo Classic. I'm super happy with my purchase. I love the two controllers. I just love it. I know it's basically just ROMs loaded on a piece of, piece of plastic, but I don't know. There's just something about it. And like I was saying earlier in, the, earlier in the video, I have a special place in my heart for the Super Nintendo. But yeah, so that's it, guys. Thanks for tuning in. If you like what you saw, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Hey.